this is an old building, it's a very recent museum. There was very little left here of the collections of the Lascaris family, almost nothing really, just the architecture, the paintings on the ceilings. Uh, after the French Revolution, everything was, was taken away. Another role which has a different sound was the stopping. scenes. We often have concerts in this room and in another room of about this size across the, uh, across the, on the other side of the, uh, of the floor. The tapestries you see here are telling the story of Marc Antoine and Cleopatra. Sacbot in English, or sacbut in, in French, is the oldest of these three. This is an instrument built in 1780 it's in Paris. It seems like a small harp, but this was a, a full model, uh, adult model harp at the time, made by Naderman, who was the harp maker to the, to the court. Uh, Marie Antoinette, who, as you know, played the harp, played on Naderman, Naderman harps, very similar. Um, Mozart, when he went to Paris in 1778, so two years before this instrument was built, wrote his um, concerto for flute and harp for almost the exact same model instrument. And uh, you might not notice when you watch a harp player play, because it's so elegant and so beautiful, uh, you might not notice all of the foot action in the beginning of the 17th century. So this instrument, for example, was made in 1618, one of the oldest guitars preserved today in, in Europe. Uh, at this time, nobody really played guitar in France. Very few people played guitar. Uh, it was an instrument that came from Spain and was seen as very exotic and very uh, interesting. It became very fashionable, especially at court. And uh, Louis XIV himself played the guitar, he learned it when he was very young, and at the end of his life he was still playing the guitar, and he, he uh, very much appreciated this instrument. This instrument here, this guitar, was made by the uh, most important maker at the court of Louis, Louis XIV, the Beaumont family, and you see how an instrument is made for an aristocratic uh, patron. Thank <laughs> you. 
what you would call a bass clarinet at that time. In fact, the name basset horn simply means a horn is a, just a generic word for a wind instrument, and basset meant a small bass instrument. So you see that it has this strange <laughs> folded shape. Why is that? Well, because it's actually a very long instrument. It's a very big instrument that has a long tube to have a very low bass sound. But if it were all straightened out, it would be impossible to play or very difficult to play comfortably. In fact, in this last part here, the tube makes two turns. So it's a very, very long instrument. And the result is that you can play very low notes.